When they say real flying car, it's very important what I'm talking about. Now, a real flying car has only two things. It's car and it has a vertical takeoff. When I say car, it looks like a car, it drives like a car, it parks like a car, it's actually the fun fully functioning car. Surprisingly enough, to my knowledge, there have never been in history anything like that. But the idea is you have the right side of the car and the left side of the car in the actual shape of the wing, the real shape of the wing, which is going to put you up. So when you go up, all you have to do is turn 90 degrees. I have the same shape of the car. You didn't add any pounds to that. And what you have is you have biplane with the upper wing and the lower wing. And they will help you uh, get a very efficient flight, right? And this is how you kind of fool the laws of physics and not bypass the laws of physics. This is why we kind of think we got the, uh, the flying car. That being said, you don't have to fly in the transition mode all the time. You can drive and hop over something.